Hello guys, today we will discuss about classification of proteins that how we classify the proteins into various categories. So without any delay, let's start the video. So before directly going into classification, first of all, we should know that what are proteins. So proteins are naturally occurring substances which are consist of amino acids and these amino acids, they are joined with each other through a peptide bond. So proteins, they are present in all living organism and they include many essential biological like such as enzymes, hormones, antibodies. So these are consist of proteins. Now, classification of proteins. So proteins, they can be classified either on the basis of their source, on the basis of their shape, on the basis of their composition and the solubility and on the basis of their function so now let's discuss the classific all of these classification one by one first first is the classification on the basis of the source of the protein so on the basis of the source the protein can either be taken from animal or from plant so when we take the proteins from animals so these are called as the animal proteins and they include like egg various sources like egg milk fish like for example egg albumin so these animal proteins, these are usually high quality proteins because they contain adequate amount of all of the essential amino acids. And when we take the proteins from plant sources, so these are the plant proteins and these plant proteins, these are generally of lower quality proteins because they have low or very limited amount of the essential amino acid means animal proteins they are high quality proteins because they contain essential amino acid, adequate amount of essential amino acid while plant protein, they are low quality protein because they contain very low or the limited amount of essential, one of the more essential amino acids. The second category of their classification is the, on the basis of their shape. So on the basis of shape, proteins can either be globular protein or fibrous protein. So globular proteins, so they they generally have a spherical or ovoid shape. These proteins are soluble in water or aqueous medium containing acid, bases, salts or alcohol. The tertiary and the quaternary structures are usually associated with globular proteins. While fibrous proteins, in case of example of globular protein, they include antibodies, hemoglobin, hormones and enzymes. While the fibrous proteins, they generally have a long fibers means the sh their shape generally resemble the long fibers that's why fibrous proteins and they're mainly of animal origin and insoluble in common solvent like water acid alkalis like global protein are soluble in common solvent while fibrous protein are insoluble in common uh, this common solvents the for example fibrous protein they include collagen keratins and fibrin so these two global and fibrous protein are on the basis of shape of protein Next category of the classification is the classification based on the composition and their solubility. So on the basis of composition and solubility, the proteins may either be simple proteins or hollow proteins, conjugated or complex proteins and derived proteins. So first is simple proteins or hollow proteins. So the simple protein as the name indicates simple proteins, so they contain only amino acid means their structure is consists of just amino acids and on the uh, decomposition with acid they only liberate amino acid on the basis of their solubility these are of following types like first protamines and histones so these are the basic proteins and soluble in water these are strongly basic in character due to their high content of basic amino acid that is lysine and arginine and they also form salts with mineral acids and nucleic proteins the example of these protamines and histones like protamines cell mine from the salmon sperm similarly histones like nucleohistones of nuclei globin of hemoglobin next albumins so these are widely distributed in nature but are more abundant in seeds they are soluble in water and dilute solution of acid bases and salts the example is ova albumin from the white of egg serum albumin from the blood plasma myosin of muscle Next, globulins. So there are generally two types of globulins, pseudoglobulins and euglobulins. Euglobulins are, you can say, widely distributed in nature than pseudoglobulins and pseudoglobulins are soluble in water while euglobulins are insoluble in water. Example, the pseudoglobulin 
include seroglobin of milk whey while the u globulin they include serum globulin globulin from the blood plasma and ovo globulin from the egg white next glutalin <coughs> next is the glutalins so they are isolated from plant seed they are insoluble in water dilute salt solution and alcohol their example include glutenin from the wheat and glutenin from the corn next scleroprotein or albuminoids so these are occur almost entirely in the animal and therefore they are known as animal skeletal proteins they are insoluble in water dilute solution of acid bases and salts the example of this scleroprotein they include collagen of bone elastins in the uh, ligaments and creatin in the hair so these are the example of scleroprotein or albuminoids albuminoids next next is conjugated or complex protein so here as the name indicate conjugated means they have a non protein portion which is called as prosthetic group this prosthetic group may either be a metal atom or it may either be any compound upon decomposition with acid they generally in release the amino acid as well as the prosthetic group means if you treat these protein with acid so they will give amino acid but they also release prosthetic group and there are following types of base uh, on the basis of nature of prosthetic groups of protein this conjugated or complex protein are of following type first metallo proteins so as the name indicate metallo means metal so here these protein they are linked with various metal means prosthetic group it consists of metals like for example siderophilin here the metal atom is iron these are also called as transferrin second sireloplasmin here the metal atom or the prosthetic group is copper means these protein these are copper binding protein which are present in the blood of humans next chromoproteins again chromo means color so these are the proteins which are complex with some color pigment so example include myoglobin hemoglobin hemocyanin like for example hemoglobin is red in color hemocyanin is blue in color so these are the color proteins because they are attached with some colored pigment next glycoproteins or mucoproteins so glyco means carbohydrates so these are those proteins which are attached or their prosthetic group is consist of carbohydrates and the glycoprotein they contain small amount of carbohydrate while mucoprotein they contain high amount of carbo hydrates so example of these include like glycoprotein for example al egg albumin elastase serum albumin while mucoproteins that is evo mucoid from egg white mucin from the saliva next phosphoprotein again these protein these are linked with phosphoric acid that's why name am named as phosphoproteins so example include casein from milk ovo vitamin from the egg yolk now lipoproteins again these protein these are complex with lipids like cephalin lecithin cholesterol etc these are soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvents example include lipovitelanin and lipovitelanin from the egg yolk lipoproteins of blood nucleoproteins so here the prosthetic group is nucleic acid means these are the complex of protein and nucleic acid they are generally present in the nuclear substance as well as in the cytoplasm example include nucleoproteins from the yeast nucleohistones from the nuclear rich material like glandular tissue next category derived proteins so as their name indicate derived so these are the derivatives of protein which are resulting from the action of uh, heat any enzyme or chemical agent means when we treat a particular protein with heat enzyme or chemical then the derivative after the treatment so these are known as the derived proteins so here they are primary derived protein so these are the derivatives of protein in which the size of protein is not changed means size remain same so these are primary derived protein which include proteins so these are insoluble in water and they appear the first product by the action of acid enzymes or water for example the proteins example myosin derived from the myosin second meta protein or infra protein these are insoluble in water but soluble in dilute acid and alkalis and they are further produced by the further action of acid or alkali their example include acid and alkali meta proteins then coagulated proteins these are insoluble in water and produced by the action of heat and alcohols on the protein their example include coagulated egg white 
नेक्स्ट सेकेंडरी डिराइव प्रोटीन सो दीज आर द डेरिवेटिव प्रोटीन इन विच हाइड्रोलिस हैज बीन अकर्ड सो दे आर प्रोटीओजिज दीज आर सोल्यूबल इन वाटर एंड प्रोड्यूस्ड वेन द हाइड्रोलिस प्रोसीड बियॉन्ड द लेवल ऑफ मेटा प्रोटीन एंड एग्जाम्पल इक्यूल एल्बिमोज फ्रॉम एल्ब्यूमिन एंड ग्लोबिलोज फ्रॉम ग्लोबलिन पेप्टॉन्स दीज आर सोल्यूबल इन वाटर नॉन कोएगुलेबल बाय हीट प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय द एक्शन ऑफ डायल्यूट एसिड और एंजाइम वेन देर हाइड्रोलिस प्रोसीड बियॉन्ड द प्रोटीओसिस मीन्स वेन हाइड्रोलिस प्रोसीड बियॉन्ड प्रोटीओसिस देन वी गेट द पेप्टॉन्स सो देर एग्जाम दे नेक्स्ट इज द दिस पोली पेप्टाइड सो दीज आर द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू और मोर अमाइनो एसिड यूनिट्स इनफैक्ट द प्रोटीन आर इसेंशियली लॉन्ग चेन ऑफ पोली पेप्टाइड्स नाउ द लास्ट कैटेगरी ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन इज क्लासिफिकेशन बेस्ड ऑन द फंक्शन ऑफ प्रोटीन सो हेयर वी ऑल्सो कैटेगराइज द प्रोटीन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ देयर फंक्शन लाइक फर्स्ट आर एंजाइमेटिक प्रोटीन सो दीज आर दो प्रोटीन विच परफॉर्म द फंक्शन ऑफ एंजाइम मीन्स दे आर द बायोलॉजिकल कैटालिस्ट दे कैटालाइज द बायोकेमिकल रिएक्शन सो दीज आर एंजाइमेटिक प्रोटीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूरियज अमाइलेज हेक्सोकाइन मीन्स ऑल ऑफ द एंजाइम कम्स अंडर दिस एंजाइमेटिक प्रोटीन सेकेंड स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन सो दीज आर दो प्रोटीन विच आर इन्वॉल्व इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर दे गिव स्ट्रेंथ टू द स्ट्रक्चर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल कोलेजन किरेटिन नेक्स्ट ट्रांसपोर्ट और कैरियर प्रोटीन सो दीज आर दो प्रोटीन विच इन्वॉल्व इन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ आइंस और मोलिक्यूल्स इन द बॉडी लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल माओग्लोबिन हिमोग्लोबिन लाइक हिमोग्लोबिन इट ट्रांसपोर्ट द ऑक्सीजन टू द लंग्स नेक्स्ट न्यूट्रेंट एंड स्टोरेज प्रोटीन सो दीज आर दो प्रोटीन विच प्रोवाइड द न्यूट्रिशन टू द ग्रोइंग एम्ब्रियोज एंड दे ऑल्सो स्टोर द आइंस लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओवेल्यूमिन कैसीन एंड फेरेटिन नेक्स्ट कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल और मोटाइल प्रोटीन सो दे हेल्प यू कैन से दे फंक्शन एज कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल सिस्टम एंड हेल्प इन द मूवमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्टिन मायोसिन एंड ट्यूबिलिन नेक्स्ट आर द डिफेंस प्रोटीन सो दे प्रोवाइड द डिफेंस अगेंस्ट ऑर्गेनिजम्स और फोरन बॉडीज सो दे इंक्लूड एंटीबॉडीज फिब्रोनोजन एंड थ्रोम्बिन नेक्स्ट रेगुलेटरी प्रोटीन दे इन्वॉल्व इन द रेगुलेशन ऑफ मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटी लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंसुलिन ग्रोथ हॉर्मोन जी प्रोटीन एंड लास्ट टॉक्सिक प्रोटीन सो एज द नेम इंडिकेट दे आर टॉक्सिक मीन्स दे कैन किल दे कैन हाइड्रोलाइज द एंजाइम्स लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्नेक विनोम एंड राइसिन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द प्रोटीन्स एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन सो दिस इज डन फॉर टूडे सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच